Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Beast! <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now. Da, da, da. Listen, listen, we aren't even gonna do all that today, okay? Because I have so many complaints, and you, you are all just a bunch of complainers and whiners of the world. Oh my God, I am so tired of it. Just go get a Starbucks and shut your mouths, my Lord. I posted this tweet the other day, okay, to make a video, and it said, what are your silliest pet peeves? My, 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 are so many. No, might be used for a video. And at the time that I filmed that video the other day, I think I had like 140 responses to it. Y'all, let me just tell you something, okay? Girl, shut your mouth. You're all canceled. Canceled. You're all you canceled, okay? Uh, 425 responses I have received since I posted that video. Okay, first of all, <laughs> y'all didn't watch my video. If you did, you would know that might be used for a video means it's over. It's done, okay? The video's been posted. Listen, y'all are making my, my face... Okay, a few things I want to announce before I get into this video is that last night I finished my 100th book of the year, Beast! and um, I completed my Goodreads goal of reading 100 books in a year. It has been my goal for several years. I am so proud of myself. Um, so on top of having six channels, on top of having a true crime book club, on top of every taking care of my house, making love to my husband, I also read 100 books this year. So I don't really wanna hear y'all complaining about a bunch, okay? You better get out there and get some work done. I'm just telling you, okay? The second thing I wanna say is, that I just ran into a friend of mine that I had not seen in several, several years. And um, I'm standing there talking to her and she just celebrated five years sober. And I looked at her with tears in my eyes and I was like, we do recover. Like, you know, like we get our lives back and she's so happy today. And I just want to say like, those are the situations that I run into on a regular basis. You and I talk about on this channel, like how serious addiction and recovery is because I firmly, firmly, firmly believe that we have to talk about it and destigmatize addiction. And I will continue to be talking about it in 2021 because I feel so passionate about it. But I want you to know there are people out there that are getting sober every single day and are living magical lives and are getting their lives back. Okay. I'm gonna let her have it because I'm gonna say I was trying to do this funny rant video and then you made me cry. But I'm so proud of her and it's the coolest thing, you know, to see somebody get their life back. So anyway, all right. Y'all, 425 complaints. 425 complaints and no, not a one of them was this strongest frappuccino that they have ever had at Starbucks. I did that review today. Okay. Let's get in here and let's read. Somebody the other day, first of all, I got. Let me tell you a few of my uh, my pet peeves. Okay, number one, somebody said, "Why do you keep on taking your glasses off and on?" Because when I was reading uh, the comments in the video, I was sitting here and I was okay. I was reading the comment. What is this? What is this? This is the kind of stuff that drives me crazy. What is this? Jesus. <sighs> I even found a parking space out here in the middle of a parking lot where nobody comes. It's DSW. Don't nobody go to DSW anymore. Who cares about DSW on New Year's Eve? I came out here so I could shout. It's so hot in this car. Nobody be driving up on me. Nobody be paparazzi me. Because last time, apparently, everybody thought I was trying to be Nick Avocado, okay? As if I would ever in a million years try to imitate that. So anyway, here I am, okay, out in the middle of nowhere in this parking lot. So somebody the other day says to me, in the comment sections, why do you keep on taking your glasses off and on throughout the entire video? They're reading glasses, okay, dude? They're reading glasses. When you're reading, you put your glasses on. When you're not reading, you take your glasses off. You've just been read, okay? So anyway, that's why I kept on taking my reading glasses off, fools. Anyway. 
<laughs> I thought there was no better way to go out of 2020 than a rant video, okay? And I, we've got lots to talk about. First of which, let me just tell you, the trash people came today, okay? Take our trash. Now, I don't know what they what happened, but do you remember back in the day, the nice trash people would come, they'd pick up your trash can, they'd empty it into the machine, and then they would put it, they would set it back down. Now they have these machines, okay, that go out, and they pick up the machine, the trash and they throw it like that. You know what I mean? Okay. Why am I looking outside my bedroom window today, right? To see how cold it is, see if there's still snow on the ground, which there is. Hello. Okay. No, I wanted snow for Christmas. I didn't want snow for New Year's. Okay. I'm ready now for beaches and swimming pools. Why is it I'm looking out at my trash or my uh, driveway today and there's all kinds of trash in the driveway? I said to my husband, I go, why is there trash all over our driveway and on the street? And he goes, I don't know. He goes, is it our trash? And I go, yeah, it's all around. I could see, I could see my friend go, man, advent calendar, okay, from the street. I was like, yeah, it's our trash. So I go out there, right? There's leftover mac and cheese on our street. Have you ever tried to get that stuff up? Okay, and this was the grandest of it all, okay? My husband had enjoyed a bottle of wine the other night, so it had crashed and broken into a million pieces in the bag, right? Well, the bag had split open. So let me tell you what's on the ground, okay? In the gravel and in everything around our thing is macaroni and cheese, okay, a smoothie. It was all this stuff mixed in with glass from a wine bottle. Well, I didn't want nobody to hurt themselves on it, right? So I, I'm out there and I'm like, okay, I'll clean this stuff up. And so I'm out there with the broom and whatever. Well, one of my directors, or one of my, one of my neighbors, <laughs> directors, that too, one of my uh, neighbors walks by, who used to be the director or the president of the HOA, and I, and I looked at him, and he goes, oh, cleaning up a mess, I see, and I said, yeah, not mine, I said, I don't know why the trash people can't make sure this doesn't happen, and your trash is all over the street, they obviously don't care, and he goes, yeah, they're all, and I didn't even understand this, he goes, they're only worried about the, the, the long con or something like I go, just keep on walking. Don't nobody need your two cents. Keep on walking, okay? So that is my number one pet peeve of the day. And the reading glasses. Okay, so let's get in here and let's see what people had to say. Pet peeve number one of this channel is that my battery dies before I even get into the video. And y'all know how that happens all the time. Okay. So we're gonna read uh, the first complaint on here, which is from Francesca. Okay, so, well, Francesca, she doesn't know how to write a comment. So, cause she puts commas, but then there's five complaints. People who have to one-up you in conversations when my husband leaves the toothbrush just next to the toothbrush pot and elbows on the table. Well, I'll tell you, my complaint is that my husband uses one of those electric uh, toothbrushes, you know, that you always have to have plugged in. And then if I'm trying to unplug, uh, plug in the hair dryer to do my hair, because you obviously can tell that I do my hair on a regular basis, okay? That then, ow, poke myself in the eye, damnation! God! Then I have to unplug that toothbrush, and every time I do, it does make this little noise, this like song, little. Anyway, the one, the one up in people on conversations, just stop, it's rude, okay? You're entitled, you think the world revolves around you, it don't, don't nobody need to hear your story. Just let somebody else be on top for once, <laughs> family friends. Just let somebody else tell their story, okay? You know, it kills me, always, God, when I, like, now, my good Judy Tanya, she don't do this, okay? We don't do this to one another, right? But I've got some friends out there. Yes, you know who you are, okay? When it's like, oh, and I did this, and then they go, oh, really? Well, like, yeah, I know what that's like because, and I'm like, well, of course your life is so, you know what? You win the award. You have the shittiest life in the entire, you win the, the award. What, I had to wait in line for 15 minutes? You had to wait in line for 18. You win the award. You have the shittiest life in the entire world. Own it, take it all day long. Francesca, I agree with you. I'm so tired of it. Okay, we won't do the reading glasses today. I will just suffer for you, okay? Out there, the one commenter that wanted to say something about that, okay. Y'all don't understand the rant. Some, this is my other uh, pet peeve, okay? Is when people don't understand that the rant videos are a joke, okay? Like, when they think this is really me. I mean, some of it is my real complaints. Like, the, the glass on the driveway and all that kind of stuff. But when people think I really get this hyped up and stuff about... It's entertainment. Y'all don't understand? Okay, 1987 wants their humor back. Because you don't have it. Alright, let's read the next one. 
Okay, some of these are repeats from the other day. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen some of these. Uh, Jackie said, when someone opens and starts drinking something in a grocery store before they pay for it, then when they get done shopping and go to the register to pay for a half-empty bottle along with their groceries like they couldn't wait. <laughs> like a two-liter girl! Like a two-liter or a carton of milk. I'd die if I saw somebody walking through the Walmart with a carton of milk. Okay, um... Oh, okay. This is what's her. I need to. Some people, y'all, I can't. I don't know what your names are, but okay. I think B. When someone leaves a wet kitchen towel and a rumple on the kitchen counter. Now, y'all know it's just me and my husband at home. It's not like the dogs are doing this, right? The towel belongs folded, okay, with the tag down it, over the sink. Why is it so hard to understand? Okay, it don't belong crumpled on the counter. That's not a nice look. Didn't nobody ask for that? I didn't ask for that. I sure as hell didn't leave it that way when I cleaned it. We learned in kindergarten. Leave things the way you found them. God. <laughs> oh, here's Arlena. Hey, Arlena. <laughs> okay, Arlena said, uh, People watching videos on their phones in a waiting room at the doctor's office drives me nuts. Girl, now let me tell you something, okay? You should go over there and switch their uh, videos over to my videos. That's what you need to be doing, Arlena, okay? Arlena was up on the uh, the Twitter today. Let me tell you what, I'm going to call her out right here talking about pet peeves and complaints. She said, uh, I, all I want is Waffle House, okay? I saw this earlier. I just laughed forever. We will be going right by it tonight, and it's all my preg She's pregnant. She's due here in about four weeks, I think. She said, and it's all my pregnant butt can think about. Girl, you better go in there and get you some uh, hash browns smothered and covered. I love me some Waffle House. Waffle House. Okay. Someone, okay, I talked about that one the other day. Um, let's see. <laughs> Okay, wait. Uh, people thought using turn signals. Okay, let. Okay, this is my good Judy that I went to high school with. Okay, first of all, <laughs> Miss Stephanie. Since she still resides in the great city that we went to high school with, with in Carmel, Indiana. I think they put $190 million into the roundabouts in that damn city, okay? And don't nobody know how to drive on a roundabout. There's no stop sign. There's no stop sign on a roundabout, okay? There's no stop. There's no stop sign on a roundabout! <laughs> okay. Let's say, uh... <laughs> Okay, Natalie said, I get irrationally annoyed when people say woof instead of wolf and skip the middle parts of words. Okay, I understand that, okay? My, but the people that follow my channel, I don't think they understand. It's not the wolf pack, okay? It's the wolf pack. And the reason it started this way years ago was when I watched Tyler Oakley and I listened to Tyler Oakley and his friend Corey Cole's podcast. And when you say wolf, okay, to a gay man, it means you find them very attractive. That's how it started the wolf pack. And people to this day correct people in my comment sections and they're like, it's not wolf, it's wolf. No, ma'am, it's woof, okay? Because y'all think I'm handsome and attractive and sexy and all those things, right? Because you're begging to see my OnlyFans. Stop begging to see my OnlyFans! <laughs> but I might need some Magic Mike stuff if you really want to see it. Listen, times are tough these days. Okay. Um, okay, hold on a second. Oh my God, LOL, seriously, said when people sneeze in multiples, listen, sneezes come in threes. We all know that. Stop your complaining, okay? <laughs> okay, hold on a second. I'm trying to go through these and find some of the funny ones. Uh, my boyfriend hates when I'm, this is from Sylvia. My boyfriend hates when I'm at, almost at the end of a drink and I make the slurping noise. I'm just finishing my frap. Chill out, bro. <laughs> she said. That drove my dad crazy when I was a kid. And blowing bubbles and drinks like this. Don't ever grow up. <laughs> tell your tell your boyfriend, Sylvia, to piss off. Okay. Let's see another one. Uh, 
Someone who doesn't replace the soap when it's empty. Someone who doesn't replace anything when it's empty. Toilet paper, paper towels. This kills me, okay? This is this straight up kills me, right? Is when you have that very last piece of toilet or a paper towel on the paper towel roll. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That very last piece that's kind of folded over. You know, you can't wash your hands with that or the counter or anything like that. And somebody leaves that on there. What that says is, I am, and by someone, yes, I do mean my husband, although I love him, okay? What that means is, <laughs> y'all should bow down to me. I'm the king of the house, and you need to replace the paper towel. Because they don't want to do it themselves, because they don't want to walk the 10 feet to where we keep the paper towels, okay? <laughs> Alex, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Actually, he's pretty good about that most days. Okay. Um, <laughs> everybody's complaining about their boyfriends and husbands. Let's just complain about it. Here it is. N says, when my boyfriend does the dishes once in eight years and proceeds to tell me how to do them. Y'all want to hear something? I talked about this on my thing the other day about my husband leaving stuff out, okay? Let me tell you something. My husband left a can of Coke out, okay? Not only that, but there was a ring on the table afterwards, which I did get off, thank God, okay? But he left that can of Coke out there for 24 hours. Then last night, okay, we're sitting there and we're watching Shit's Creek while we're eating macaroni and cheese from Costco because that's a good date night in our house, okay? And I get a can of Coke. Now, he gets Coke. I get Diet Coke, right? And I'm like, oh, I think I'd like a Coke. And he goes, a real Coke? And I said, yes, I'd like a real Coke. So he gets me a real Coke, right? So I'm drinking it. It's on my table. That's old as sin, okay? You couldn't get a ring on that table if you tried, right? I go over to the computer to upload one of my videos on my Peterisms channel. And my husband walks over with a can of Coke. And he goes, are you done with your Coke yet? I was like, oh, those are fighting words. Those right, those right there are fighting words. Okay. That and I didn't even say it, but I wanted to say so bad. Are you done with the Coke that I had to clean up last night that you kept over there on that table and there was a ring on it? That Coke over there, are you done with that Coke? That's in the trash can right now. But listen, okay, like I said in my video the other day, this is where you stop having the fight and the fight starts having you, okay? It was probably best that my husband just asked me if I was done with the Coke. Because if he had thrown it away, I'd be like, well, what happened to my Coke? And then he'd say, well, I threw it away because I didn't think that you wanted it anymore. I'd say, you threw away my Coke? Why my Coke? You didn't throw away your Coke the other night. And he'd go, what are you talking about? And I'd say, that Coke that you left out there that caused the ring on the table, see? And he'd say, I don't even know what you're talking about. And I'd be like, of course you don't, see? Because you don't. And then we would escalate, and two days later, after we had talked about, where do you want to go to dinner? I don't care. You don't care about me. I don't care about you. Why don't we file for divorce, okay? But that's, you don't do that, okay? You communicate today, okay? You find the 12 forms of intimacy, and you communicate. And you do it a whole bunch, too, okay? I just saved 100 marriages out there, okay? Don't fight over stuff like Coca-Cola cans. It's just not even worth it, all right? Leave the ring on the table, okay? It's called character. It adds character to your tables. Get over it, all right? Okay, let's see what else somebody's got to uh, complain about on here. Let's go way down here. I mean, I've got 425 comments. I'm in the, the top 10 right here, okay? Uh... Okay, Garbage Goblin said milk. I can't stand milk. <clears throat> I can have it with cereal, and I like chocolate milks, but other than that, I cringe when I... Let me tell you something. I remember when I was growing up, and my mother started us on the skim milk. Do you remember, okay, when that came around? And I was like, oh, who drinks skim milk? Nobody drinks skim milk. My mom went through this... Are you serious? You're going to drive all the way over here when I am out in the middle of... What are you doing? God! Paparazzi. I've had it with people trying to look at me here when I'm there, then they can't see in anymore. But anyway, let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> I can remember complaining because my mom would always make me drink milk, okay? I hated it. We call it milk in Indiana, okay? With like M-E. Don't come for me, all right? We also call caramel caramel. So get over it if you don't like it. But I can remember wanting like whole fat or 2% milk. This straight up looks like a condom hanging out of my window, doesn't it? It does. It looks like a dirty condom that somebody done put up in my window. Don't be putting dirty condoms in your window. What is wrong with you? That is so dirty. That's like when I reviewed that Prince song. I love that song, Little Red Corvette, but he put a dirty condom in his pocket. No, Prince. No. What is wrong with you people out there? You're dirty. Anyway, my mom tried to make me drink that 2% or I would drink that whole milk back in the day and I loved it, right? You know, a special treat when I was growing up is that we would eat cereal with half and half, okay? I thought that was the answer all day long. I loved it. 
Then my mom traded it, changed this over into the skim milk and she was eating a whole wheat pasta and all this nasty stuff that now everybody does every day anyway, you know? And I could be like, Mom, where's the, the whole milk? I missed the whole milk. She made me drink that skim milk. And I can remember thinking it tasted like watered milk. It was so nasty. Did y'all ever, ever had powdered milk? <laughs> <laughs> That'll set you free, won't it? <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, see, right here, Zoe said, just watch this hilarious video. My husband leaves crumbs on. Thank you, Zoe, for watching the video. You get an A plus for drama class. Okay, all these people talking about the toilet paper the wrong way. I agree. I already talked about that. Okay, let's get down here to the very beginning. Let's get down here to some of the the mean comments. You know how they like. Are somebody else coming over here trying to interrupt my paparazzi? Okay, look, just sign on the door. What con <laughs> I was gonna say what condom, I don't know about all that. Okay, bare feet on a dash Girl! Okay, when I go down the interstate I can't look at this now without seeing a condom. Okay. When I go down the st the the street, when I go down the interstate and you see somebody, okay, with their, their big old uh, bare feet sitting up in the windshield, okay, you know they're just getting their toe jams all over the window shield, the windshield and all that kind of, girl, don't do that, that is so cruddy, take your feet off the dashboard, where were you raised, in a pigsty, that is so rude, okay, People who don't say please and thank you, uh, said Kate, amen, and excuse me. Wh why can't we say excuse me? It's 2020. Y'all can't say excuse me. That is so rude. The very last one, uh, oh, it was Jenna from Bare Feet on the Dashboard. I can't stand it, she said. Jenna, you and I are going to take some uh, road trips together. Um, uh, Kirsten said taking up the whole aisle in the grocery store. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Thinking that you own the whole grocery store, okay? Get on one side and shut your mouth. <laughs> Chelsea said no at all. I don't know any of them. But anyway, no. <laughs> uh, Ghost Sharkleg said people who make outrageous claims until you just Google it when you ask for a source. <laughs> I do that. Just Google it. I do. I Google stuff all the time. What did I Google yesterday? There's probably something I Googled yesterday that was real exciting. I don't even remember. I've been Googling all kinds of stuff about little Edie from uh, Grey, uh, Grey Gardens because I'm obsessed with her. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, wait, I read that one the other day. <laughs> but people keep talking even when they get that weird clogged throat thing going on. Like, they need to take a second to clear their... Th I don't know about all that. <laughs> Okay, Brittany said, people saying, I seen, uh, I seen, no, you saw, come on, people, don't <laughs> call people people. Okay, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm like, should I tell this story? I don't give an F anymore. I don't give an F anymore. I don't, okay? So back in the day, I used to work with a team of people, okay? <laughs> This is so bad. This is so unchristian, and I'm not a citizen of the world, okay? But I worked with this gal. She was nice as pie. She was, okay? She was nice as the nicest sugar cream pie you've ever had in your entire life, right? But we were talking about something one time in this team meeting. <laughs> and with a straight face and all, okay? She says, it did. I seen it. We were like, it was literally like, the, we were all like, eh? <laughs> like, what? And we all looked at her, and she goes, I seen it. I sort of got for the next five years, my coworker and I, like every morning I would come to work and she, there'd be like a folded note underneath my office door and it would say on there, I seen it. <laughs> but you know what she did though? She seen it. She seen it. She did. She did. But anyway, I miss her so much. She was so much fun. Um, all right, let's see what else. <laughs> Uh, so many of these I read last time. Um, uh, people who don't greet the cashier when they get to the register. I know, so rude. It's so rude. People's just rudeness of the world. Um, okay. Uh, hold on a second. Emily complaining again about her husband wearing sandals and jeans. I don't have sandals and jeans on today. I have my Ugg boots on. Don't even come for me. Okay, let's get back up here because I guess I have read a lot of these from the other day. Um, 
hold on. Wet grass. I can't stand walk. What? I love wet grass. Well, I mean, I love wet anything. I do, though, family friendly. But I love wet grass walking on it in the summer. You know what I mean? Um. <laughs> Oh, my dear friend Max said, when I don't use the instructions and the furniture is upsetting to put together, and Tay said, LOL, sounds like every guy ever. Amen. Okay, this is like, listen, we're trying to buy these nightstands, and every single nightstand my husband sends me says assembly required, and I'm like, no, we're not doing that, okay? I don't care. We're not doing, there's no Ikea. We're not doing Ikea, okay? Unless it's maybe, I don't know, some dish towels or something. I'm not putting stuff together. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not technological, okay? Let me tell you something. About two years ago, was it now? I don't know. Was it now? I've seen it. About two years ago, was it now? I bought this table that my cousin had on her pad. Does this ever happen to you? Okay, first of all, this is kind of two complaints in one. So... I bought the, my cousin had this real cute table on her patio, okay? It was just like this white little table that she had. Her patio, my cousin's patio is gorgeous. Her house is gorgeous. I love my cousin Caroline, and I love her. Everything about her is just, it's adorable, okay? It's like our house met West Elm, met uh, anthropology. Her house is adorable, right? So she's got this little white table on her patio. I said, Caroline, where'd you get that table? She said, I got it at Ikea. It was real cheap. It was like $20, right? And I said, oh, okay. And so I went to Ikea to go get this table because I wanted my patio to look like Caroline. See, I wanted it to look like what I just explained to you, okay? Do you ever see that? This is why I don't have a Pinterest, okay? I cannot look at the, this. Is, this stuff drives me crazy! When you see people's stuff, okay, look so fantastic. Let me tell you something. Now, there's this booktuber out there, this bookstagrammer. Okay, if you don't know what that means, it means they have an Instagram that's just for books and a okay, and a YouTube just for books. Like mine, Peter likes books, okay? I love him so much, okay? Robbie Reeves. He's fantastic. He's I consider him a dear friend of mine, right? Let me tell you about that MFR, okay? That MFR's Instagram is so pretty and so fine. I mean, it makes it look like I don't he lives in some show showroom apartment, okay? Every book he shows makes it look like I gotta have it, okay? Every coffee drink he drinks. I'm so tired of this mf -er. I am so done. I'm about to unfollow his Instagram because I sit there and I, I follow his Instagram stories and then I start getting real depressed about my life. You know what I mean? I start getting real depressed because I'm like, who is calling me on my phone? <laughs> anyway, I start getting real depressed. Don't need to talk to her, okay? That's for sure. People call me, interrupt me while they know I'm trying to make a video. Anyway, I do love Robbie, but listen, okay, his life looks too perfect to me. I'm so... So this is why I don't look, I told him, I said in another video, I was giving a compliment, and I said he's like the Martha Stewart of the bookstagram, which he is, okay, everything looks perfect. I try to do that stuff, you know, I try to put like a cup of coffee next to a book, next to like the rumpled bed sheets, okay, it just looks messy, I mean, it just does, okay, it, it, it looks like no, nowhere you'd ever want to go and read a book, okay, I'm just telling you right now, I, I cannot, you talk about aesthetic, I don't have it, okay, I don't, I try, I do, I try, it's like when I took a drawing class my freshman year in college, okay, and we had to draw our hand like this, okay, you should have seen mine look like the claw of a hawk, okay, it was horrible, it was like, eh. I could not draw to save my life, okay? So anyway, but I had a real cool, cool art teacher back in the day. Her name was Suzanne, and she was a hippie, and I loved her all day long. We used to go over to her house, okay? And she had picture, pictures up everywhere of the Maharishi Mugshog Yogi. You remember that dude from, like, the 60s? Oh, a bluebird landed right on that tree. God, so pretty. Anyway, she had this little basement apartment, and there were, like, tapestries hung everywhere. Was that his name, the Malrahi Shmug Show? You know what I'm talking about? That guy? Anyway, she had pictures, the long-bearded guy with the long hair. She had pictures of him everywhere. And we would sit around, and we would drink tea, and she would tell us stories about her travels, and we were like this, okay? Now, I loved her. I did, okay? Now, 40 years looking back, well, 30 years looking back now, I realized she's just some hippie living in the basement of an apartment building. <laughs> I still love her. I do. And her artwork was fantastic. It was mystical. And she could draw like nobody's business. You know what I mean? But anyway, I don't know where Suzanne is, but I love her so much. Anyway, she really, she really changed me as a person, I'll tell you. She really taught me a lot about who I was. And she also recommended me a book called Drawing on the Left Side of the Brain, I think it was called. Anyway, and it's all about, it doesn't matter. But anyway, I love you, Suzanne, if you're out there. I don't even know if she'd think, know how to work a YouTube channel or anything. But anyway, what was I saying? I can't remember what I was... Oh, man, that bluebird is so pretty. Is that another one or is that the same one? That one looks bigger. It doesn't matter. But anyway, like what I was saying... What was I saying? What was I talking about? My complaints. Okay, I was talking about drawing class, claw, 
What was I talking about? Shoot. Why do you guys do this to me? Instructions. Oh, stuff looking pretty on the Pinterest. This is why I don't look at any of that kind of stuff. It just depresses me. Okay? It's like looking at men on the Instagram that have 15 abs. I don't need to see that stuff. I really don't. Okay? I got a cooler for a stomach and maybe a six-pack of soda inside there somewhere. You know what I mean? But anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't look at that stuff. And I love you, Robbie. I do. But your Instagram is too pretty for me. Okay? It just pisses me off. It just really, it just gets me real riled up. It's one of my biggest pet peeves is when people have pretty Instagrams. Okay? That's why every picture of me in Instagram is like this. Prune. I learned that from Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Prune. That's what they do. That's what every one of my pictures looks like. See, it gives you a jaw. Okay? Prune. You turtle, and then you prune. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh, my cousin Caroline. So she had this adorable table, right? Her old patio looked so cute. She had little knickknacks here and everywhere, you know. And then she had a little clock out there and candles and everything like that. Now she gets a couple glasses of wine in her, you know. And then she takes pictures of all that same patio over and over and over again and posts it on the Facebook. But anyway... So I go to Ikea, march my butt into Ikea, and I buy this $20 table. Well, it has to be assembled, and I'm thinking to myself, how can, how hard can this be, okay? It's this little metal table, okay? It's not even two feet high. So I get this thing home, and I bring it all out, and I am like, what is going on here? I'm like, I'm getting this table together. Well, guess, it's, it's a top, okay? It's two legs that crisscross, but it's four legs, but they crisscross, you know, two like this. And it's basically four screws that you put in. I put the tabletop upside down. <laughs> and, and I even thought, after an hour of trying to get this effort together, I thought, I'm just going to leave this table like this. Nobody cares about me anyway. I'm the only one that sits out there. I'm like, no, better do this the way that you sought to do it. So I get the instructions out again. I take the whole thing apart, get that little screwdriver. Ikea comes out with those little fake screwdriver things that are like worse than the seven gates of hell, right? And you know what I'm talking about? They act like it's a real screwdriver, but it's not, okay? So I get that little screwdriver thing out that's like this big and you're going, oh my, that blooper just keeps on landing over here. It's so pretty. But that little screwdriver thing and you're going like this without you, you know? And then basically you have carpal tunnel for the rest of your life because of trying to put together an Ikea deal, you know? So I take it all apart, I put it all back together, I even took a picture of it and put it on my Instagram, okay, on my story, why wouldn't you, okay, that's a proud moment right there. I put it on my patio, and I swear to God, because I have this white metal glider out there, because I thought it would match my white metal glider, and I have this pretty blue cushion and everything like that. It looked like my grandma's backyard, you know, my grandma that went to prison, it looked like her backyard, okay, with her big black lab Misty. It was not pretty, it was ugly, okay, it just, it looked like, it just was not pretty, and I was like so depressed after that. And and then I was like, F this table. I wish I'd never bought this damn table to begin with, okay? It's all my cousin Caroline's fault. Thinking about disowning her as it is. All because of that table. Anyway. Oh, this one kills me. Okay, parents allowing their offspring to run rampant in public areas, restaurants, stores, etc. Now, every time I complain about this in a video, I just want to tell you, I get the parents that say to me, you don't know how hard... <laughs> you don't know how hard it is, blah, 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 blah. I know it is, okay? And I understand that there are a lot of kids out there that have issues that is hard for them, right? We had babysitters, okay? Now, we had grandmas. <laughs> yes, they went to prison, but my cousin Caroline and I, we had grandmas, okay, for date nights for our parents. My dad would sit there and he would say to me, you sit your ass in that chair, okay? We didn't have no tablets. We weren't even allowed books in a restaurant. We were taught to have conversation with our parents, okay? My husband today, you know what he does? He brings a little present for both of my uh, nephews. And if they can behave through dinner and they can sit there and not have to be on their tablets the whole time and actually have conversations with their uh, relatives, then at the end he gives them a little present. You know what I mean? I don't know what I think about that. Y'all think that's a good idea? Rewarding your kids that way? I don't know. It works, though, hey? <laughs> They don't run around. They sure don't. I'm telling you right now, if they ran around, their dad would pull that shirt back so quick and say, sit right there in that chair. You're not going nowhere. Okay. So anyway, let's see. Uh, hold on. I've read a lot of these so far. How could, how could I have read so many when there's 425? Neighbors who park in the driveway of the building ignoring the clear signs that say no parking. Oh, God. Or people that park, like, in front of your driveway. This kills me. Our neighbors across the street, they're nice as pie. They really are. But they had a contractor there, I swear to God, for three months this year. And you know where that uh, contractor would park? Right in front of my driveway so I couldn't even get out. I'm like, 
hello, don't even get me started on my neighborhood or my HOAs and all this kind of stuff. My husband, let me tell you, we got this notice. It's getting so dark out here. Okay, my na okay, uh, we got this notice in our mailbox about the fact that we didn't, uh, what do you call it, pressure wash our patio last year. This is the kind of effing BS you deal with living in a condo association, okay? Uh, listen, this is the sixth gate of hell right here is homeowners, homeowners associations, okay? I didn't know I had so many complaints today, but I guess I do. So we get this notice, all right, that we have to have. Now, they give it to us in, like, October, okay? For the following, like, May 10th is the date that we have it due. How, how am I supposed to remember something from October all the way to May 10th? That is some trickery, hocus-pocus, tomfoolery of the world, okay? That is BS right there, okay? They are trying to trick us just to get some extra money. So they basically say to us in a very nice way, not, okay? It wasn't nice at all. It was rude. I felt like it was my parents talking down to me when I was six, okay? That we didn't power wash our patio last year. When they came around to check, they noticed that our patio needed to get power washed. Well, hell yeah, it's about green. I almost slide off of it every time I walk out there, okay? Who cares about power washing? I don't. <laughs> so anyway, I was going to buy a power washer, and then I realized you got to put gasoline in it. So I thought, hell, I'm going to burn this whole place down. F that. I got a couple friends that power wash. I'm just going to, you know, see if they'll come over and do it now. Because what they told us was, if we don't have a power wash, oh, they're going to hire somebody and they're going to charge us $350. $350 to power wash our grassy knoll of a patio, okay? Then my husband says to me the other day, and I didn't even think about this. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe that we have to pay this $350 if I don't get somebody to power wash the patio for us by May 10th or May 5th or whatever, right? I'm like, hell's the bells, okay? They're coming for me again. If it's not one thing with these people, it's another thing, okay? Can't park more than one car in your driveway. We have a one-car garage. Where am I supposed to park? What is going on with this? Why is it going out of focus? That's another big of my pet peeve. So many people noticed that the other day. It's going to stop. Hold on a second. Okay, let me tell you about this. So my HOA, do you know what that means? Homeowners Association. Basically, these people that bully you. is what They're bullies. They're neighborhood bullies. And uh, then you have to vote for them. Okay? And I don't even know who these people are half the time, right? So, uh... We're only allowed to park one car in the garage, or one car in the driveway, right? Okay. Well, my, we have a one-car garage. <laughs> Can you tell me how that's supposed to work? Okay. We have one of three units that has a one-car garage. Who, whoever builds any place that only has a one-car garage, it doesn't even make any sense to me. Okay. So, you know where they wanted me to park by the gate because it's a gated community by the gate or by the swimming pool. Okay, both are about a 10 minute walk. Well, maybe not, maybe like a five minute walk. In the middle of February at four o'clock in the morning when I'm coming home from a vlog when tr true serial killers of the world are gonna come out there and slit my throat. Are you kidding me? I don't think for one second I didn't tell them that too, okay? I called up that management company and I said, let me tell you something, okay? She wouldn't return my phone call and finally she did. I said, if you do not return my phone call, I am gonna call the Indiana Civil Liberties Union and I am gonna call the uh, Indiana Business uh, commerce or whatever people somebody I'm gonna complain to I'm gonna find them don't you even worry about it she finally called me back she said what's your complaints I said my complaints I have a lot of complaints okay I've had somebody that put a uh, loaf of uh, I can't even get into the complaints from five years ago okay this was a while ago this all happened we get, I get along with my neighbors now I go to the swimming pool and stuff with them but you know what we all complain about the people on the HOA board because they're a bunch of a-holes is what they are okay they walk up and down the street with their notepads and they take notes did you ever see that Geico ad with that woman that Cynthia that's what we call all of them a bunch of Cynthia's because they are too they're a bunch of a-holes okay and they walk up and down the street with their pads and they go up oh, you know what? Well, it doesn't look like you have any bushes in your walkway, so we're going to have to do something about those bushes in your walkway. When are you going to take care of your walkway? Oh, F you. Okay? So I called this manager, this woman, the CEO of the management company. I said, let me tell you something, okay, about you a-holes. I said, do you know how much I pay in uh, HOA fees a month? She's like, well, now what neighborhood are you in? Look, I said, I'll tell you, $431 a month. $431 a month for HOA fees, okay? And you want me to park five... 20 houses down, okay, next to a gate, so that I can walk in the bitter... No, I'm not going to do it. Why don't you take my $431 times 12 and build me an extra spot in my driveway? There's an idea, okay? Bunch of crap. Why can't I have two cars in my driveway? Am I offending somebody with my second car in the driveway? Is that offensive to you? Oh, my God. These people are nuts. They drive... Oh! Look at this. Go away! Why are you driving near me?
I'm making a video! God! Anyway, I think it's best if I get... Oh my God! Who is this? I am serious! Look at this! They are driving so close to me! What are they doing? Go away! God! Paparazzi! <laughs> I've had it, okay? I am leaving this and all of your complaints and whininess. Are they driving back over here again? In 2020 tonight, and I'm gonna go into 2021 having the best year ever. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for tolerating me for the year 2020. You guys have been so nice to me. You've been so kind. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos this year. <clears throat> I've had so much fun, not just on this channel, but on all six of my channels. And, um, and I'm looking forward to 2021. I have some very exciting projects. I know everybody says that, but I really do. I have some very exciting projects, <clears throat> like my uh, new book club that is starting. Everybody's like, uh, I can't find where you posted on Instagram. I haven't posted on Instagram yet. I'll be posting it on January 1st or 2nd. But I already picked my book. So anyway, I've got, that's just one of my projects. I have very exciting projects, okay? And one of them won't be for me to have the prettiest, most prettiest Instagram, bookstagram in the entire world, okay? I, I give that award to the Martha Stewart of bookstagram, Robbie Reads, who I love very much. But anyway, okay, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic New Year's Eve if you're watching this then, or a happy New Year's. I love you so much, and I will see you on the other side. Bye.